Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and today is Thursday, that means it's farmer's market day. So I have some bouquets that I already put together and then I'm gonna bring some flowers to put more together at the market while I'm there and guess what's back today? Mom cam, my mom is coming and she's gonna mom cam the market because it's extremely difficult to uh, run a camera and make a video while I am running the market. So she is gonna mom cam for me and she's gonna show us everything that they have to offer. So here's a look at some of the bouquets that I have today. We've got Snapdragon's Baby's Breath. We've got Rubecchia. Some of the Rubecchia is mine. Some of it, Flower Friend Gina had perennial Rubecchia. So hers is ready for me before. And so she was able to give me a bucket of her stuff. We also have some Yarrow, some Snapdragon, some Baptisia, Baptisia, Cress, uh, Mountain Mint, which is also from Gina. And then here's the bucket from Gina, guys. This is the leftover stuff. This is called Artemisia, and this is the Mountain Mint, and this is some of her Rubecchia. And then I made some little mini bouquets because some of the flocks that I'm harvesting and some of my Rubecchia, oh wow, look at that fluted. I love the fluted petals. Oh, they're so pretty. So some of these are on the short side. So they're, you know, maybe six to eight inches tall. So I cut them and made little $5 bouquets because there are always kids at the market who love to buy things. So this crest, Snapdragons, the leftover stuff from Gina and my other bucket of Snapdragons, that's what's coming with me. So now I'm gonna load up the unused stuff into the car along with all of my gear and then set up at the market. All right, that's everything. I hope I can get up and down with this. Hello, this is Mom Cam again, and we're at the Boonville Farmer's Market at Irwin Park. Nicole has her Flower Hill Farm stand all set up and ready to go, and it just started. The noon whistle just went off. And I'm here, we took a ride, and I'm here with Grandpa. So I, stop eating for a second, Grandpa. Hi. Hi. Right. <laughs> Happy Flower Day to you. So we just sat down, we're gonna relax a while, and then I'm gonna take a, a walk up and down the and look at all the vendor stuff, so. Cause I'm never, I haven't been here in a long time, so we're gonna see what's new and what's old and what's gonna be fun and good to eat. All right, I'm gonna take a walk. So we got grassroots meats, fresh eggs, ooh, different kind of eggs. Shiitake mushrooms, more honey, honey, honey. These are little katsudels that just are cute. Oh, look who's at the stand. Hi, guys. Oh, hello there. How are you? <laughs> Potted plants and perennials. What do I need? Anything? And that's what I'm spotting over there, beets. Ooh, I'm grabbing cucumbers. I, I gotta get my purse. Cucumbers. Oh, I like that. Jacket. Eggs. Alpaca soil amendment. And then this over here is the youngest bread maker in town. Let's see. There he is. He's a Broadway baker. Hello. What you got good? Goodies. Scones. Garlic nuts. What is that? This is an Italian stromboli. I also have pestos, um, capri salad. All right, this is my kind of stand. I left my money Flavored cream cheeses. Bagels, flatbread, scones, turnovers, my breads, they sell out quick. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Save that one for me, huh? All right. I'll be back with money. Ooh, more bread and stuff. Cranberry Ridge Farm. Oh, no, some handmade uh, lampshades, it looks like. That one's kind of cool right over here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Go ahead, Pam. All right. Natural? Perfect. Yeah, do you have a paper you can write them on your feet? And that's something I'm a smelling. That looks really good. Okay, now I picked out some stuff I want to buy. And I'm going to take Grandpa with me this time, see if he picks out the same stuff. Go ahead. You know I'm cheap. Yeah, I know you're, you're not going to buy anything. <laughs> Here, this got one. $5. Yeah. Yeah, get, the crow. get the one with the red dots. I like the red dots. Oh, okay. Yeah. We feed the crows. <laughs> we feed the crows. Yeah, I like that one. I do too. Yeah. You feed the crows too? Because, yeah, I think it's. They're the smartest. They're really smart. Smartest bird going. My husband's got a buddy, um, a cat bird, loves, he breaks the peanuts up really small for him. I love that cat bird, it's the cutest little thing. For her house, Nothing goes to waste. it's like going to a zoo. Her husband <laughs> yeah. feeds anything that crawls. Yeah. Anything. Yeah, and they eat and on my, all, all of my flower they garden. They for him to come out. He I feeds have to them take out my flowers in off my, off my porch. Uh, I tried to copy Nicole and make a little cut flower garden, and somebody liked it a lot. Mr. Woodchuck. Mr. Yeah. Woodchuck, she's losing her garden. Oh, I know. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're very clever. Making all this stuff. I can't draw a straight line into the ruler. That's how bad I am. Woohoo! Oh, yep. They're, they're fresh. That's what I'm getting. If it, don't, if it fits, I'll see how much it is. Suit jacket. How's it look? It didn't make you look any better, but the jacket's nice. <laughs> Dad, come on. <laughs> well, I have to admit, the hat makes you look good. Okay. Pardon my uh, way of showing you the items around here. I'm the grandpa camera. We're back to the mom cam slash grandpa cam. And I'm going to go pay for my bread now. Oh, sorry. $7, I think. Okay, here's Jonathan's bakery. Hi. Hi. Oh, not Jonathan's baker, Boonville's Broadway baker. <laughs> I thought you were working. He is working. Okay. You're working. It's a massage. <laughs> oh. He's, he, he's I, working. Yeah. I pay him for this. Yeah, he gives me. Okay. Yeah. Last week I paid him a loaf of bread. Oh, no. Yeah, please let. He's going to pay him a loaf of bread and he's going to give it to Grandpa. Yeah, yeah. that sounds like a great okay. idea. I'm back for the bread, the focaccia bread. Okay, Dad, here, hold that. That right there, look how good that looks. Oh my gosh, I hope I got four dollars. Nice. Looking good. The bread. <laughs> <laughs> but I got you on here anyway. There you go. Does that not look yummy? Woohoo! Thank you. That is really cool. I got another one. Uh oh. Oh, wow. Dad, look at this. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. Nice. Yes. Look at the hummingbirds. They yes. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to look at that one. <laughs> that is awesome. How are you gluing these together? Industrial glue. That really? Won't, it won't come apart ever. <laughs> <laughs> and these are all glass, right? Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. I'm, I'm quite <laughs> impressed. Okay, here we are with the mom, mom slash cam. grandpa cam because these kids Wait, are just camera hogs. Cam. Huh? <laughs> What'd you say? Hashtag bring back mom cam. That's that's right. <laughs> Youngest Boonville Baker. Hey look, there's grandpa. There's grandpa. <laughs> grandpa. Oh, those two are cute too. You could be the lead singer, Jonathan. Yeah. And those are your uh Who's got the drums and who's got the guitar? He's got the drums. Okay. Oh, I got the guitar. Oh, no. <laughs> he gets the guitar. I'm good at massages. You're going to be what? He's going to be the professional oh. massager. Yeah. Thank you. Right. So I put my name down twice? It's fine. It's fine. Well, it's fine. See what they look like. Wow, there you go. Wow. We're going to rack we're your exhausted. Wine. Yeah, we got to go home and rack my wine. And uh, we're exhausted from all this farmer's market stuff. Oh, it must be, it must yeah. be so tough for you. <laughs>
So it's a couple days later and I finally gotten a chance to look over the mom slash grandpa cam video and oh my gosh, those two cracked me up. But I wanted to explain a couple things. Number one, the tent that was set up next to me with all the little wooden crafts, that was my aunt's tent and it was her very first time being at market and I was so proud of her for overcoming a little bit of a fear of um, selling her own stuff and putting herself out there like that but she did so amazing and I was so, I'm so proud of her and I can't wait to be um, next to her every week that's very fun that's my father's sister and uh, beautiful stuff she cuts all that stuff out on her own using a scroll saw and some other saws and, and, and tools. And then she hand paints every single one of them. Super impressed, I'm very proud of her and I cannot wait for her to have success with her retirement business. Anyway, I love you Aunt Jan. And then uh, Axel is killing me, Jonathan. The Broomville's Broadway Baker, that's where I have my CSA pickup. So we have a good relationship, my business and, and Jonathan's business. And obviously his parents help him out. He is a homeschooled business owner and he's doing amazing. So he is now 15 years old, but when he was 13 years old, he built this business from the ground up and turned it from a, I'm gonna bake some breads and sell them at the market in my kitchen to a standing cafe and bakery in town now. So I'm so proud of him. So Jonathan actually literally pays my son to massage him during the farmer's market. <laughs> and I told Axel, I'm like, hello, I could use a little bit of that myself. But anyway, they're very cute. And that other little boy with the glasses that was with him, that's my cousin's son, Blake. So it's really a family affair at the market. And uh, the kids have a blast. My daughter's friends come to the park. Everybody comes to the park, hangs out. It's really fun. And the market itself has expanded this year. We have a lot more vendors. There are even more vendors than what my mom showed you guys um, in those clips. There are probably eight or nine more tents that she didn't get to. So um, it's really good for a small, small town market. I told you guys, we only have about 2,000 people in our town. So I think for a village our size, that market's fantastic. Okay, so back to my market. And I'll do another video um, a little bit more in depth of uh, my day at the market coming up. I wanted just to show you guys kind of the atmosphere where I am and um, the small town coziness of where I am. And uh, I did sell out. I sold out about halfway through the market that day, uh, which to me, it's awesome. Yay, I sold out. But for me, I'd rather sell out at the end of the day and not halfway through because I do have customers and people who are coming to the market very specifically just to buy my flowers. So if they get there and I'm sold out, that's a huge bummer. And that's um, it's not very good marketing, if you will. You want to be able to have a consistent product for your customer. So I couldn't there's nothing I can do about it. I literally cut every stem and I even brought in some flowers from Flower Friend Gina. So I sold about 35 bouquets total. So that's all I had. 35 bouquets was all I had and they all sold. I also had some people ask me uh, to do some guest speaking things. Um, I'm still considering the options. They came up to me at my, my booth and asked me to speak at the county fair. Um, just a couple other things going on and I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I got to think on it. I got to think on it, baby, baby, let me think on it. I was just outside. It's raining out. I'm trying to get as much as I can get done in the rain, which you guys know, <sighs> not fun. The chickens love it though. The chickens are getting all the worms that are coming out of the ground. Oh, I can't stop yawning. We've only gotten a tenth of an inch so far today, but it's been raining all morning. I'm not complaining about it though, because when it rains, I don't have to water anything. So yay rain. So I'm glad I was able to get mom cam in uh, again. Anyway, she's fun and she's very supportive and uh, is always great and great fun. But I have so much to show you guys that I haven't shown you yet. And all of that's coming soon. All of it's coming soon. I keep saying that, but uh, between the weather and actually having enough hours in the day, to get things done, I'm so far behind. And I think that's probably gonna be a topic of an upcoming video is I'm so far behind, it's insane. So uh, just when I think that I couldn't be further behind, I fall even further behind. So that's the story and I'm sticking to it this summer. This is the summer of of um, not enough time is really what it is. But I'm also, things are, things are behind. Things, things that I'm even on time with are behind, like my summer stuff. I just feel like my zinnias are never gonna bloom. I feel like I should see bigger growth on them than I have so far, but we'll see. 
we'll see. Everything is kind of left up to mother nature when it comes to farming. Well, I'm gonna get back outside in the rain and see what I can get done under these conditions. You know what I could do? I could weed, I could probably weed. I'll probably weed a little bit. Yeah, I'll weed. And then I think I'll do a harvest video. I'll do a harvest video and I'll do a miniature bouquet harvest video. Those are my favorite. Anyway, all right guys, thanks for sticking around. We'll see you soon. Axel, how is that guy gonna pay you when you keep leaving the stand? Not okay. very good work ethics, is it? He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to work for him right now? Dang. He's forced to. He's forced to? By his mom? <laughs> well, this is where we learn the true story of Axel's first job. Forced to work by mom. Eight bucks. Yeah. Yeah. See, Grandpa's going to fix her back of her neck. Cool. Is that enough or you want yeah, more? Yeah, that's good. Let me cut this off. I got most of the up. Too much? That cute grandson I got. He's like a, a boy band. He's like he should be in a boy band. Oh my, with that hair and those eyes. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jonathan can pull it off. Yeah, Jonathan, you could be the leader. <laughs> I'm gonna get a perm. Oh no. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, you're not doing anything. <laughs> Everything looks so good. It didn't make you look any better, but the jacket's nice. <laughs> Dad, come on.